Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this toast notification to your Blogger website. Now, if I reload this page, we can see we have this animation for our toast notification and it also has a delay of one second. So this toast notification is displayed one second after the page load. Now you can go ahead and customize the delay to whatever you want. And if I click on this close button or on this link over here, we can see that the toast notification goes away. And now if you refresh this page, the toast notification is not being displayed. So it is displayed only once. So let's get started. All right, this is our blogger website where we're gonna add the toast notification. So let's go to the dashboard and let's go to theme. And I'm using this theme called Contempo Lite, which comes by default with blogger. So let's go over here to this arrow and click on edit HTML. And here we need to add the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript. So let's go to the source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And first of all, we'll copy the link of the font. So I'll just copy this from here. And let's go back to our theme code. And I'll just paste the link over here inside the head section. Now in this line of code, we have to change the ampersand to ampersand AMP semicolon. And now let's add the HTML. So let's scroll down and go to the end of the theme code. And here just before the body ends, I'll just paste the code. So let's go back to our source code and let's copy the HTML inside the body. So I'll just copy everything from here till here. And I'll just paste it over here. Now we need to update the links of these images over here because we don't have this folder called images or this image called cover.png in our blogger website. So we have to upload this image somewhere and get the link and paste it over here. We have to do the same over here for this image as well. We will do that later. But before that, let's go ahead and add the JavaScript. So I'll just create a script tag over here. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And I'll just copy everything from here. And I'll just paste it over here. All right, now the last thing we need to add is the CSS. So let's go back and let's go to the style.css file. And I'll just copy everything from here and let's go back and let's scroll up and let's go to the CSS. And here we can see this is the CSS of the theme. Let's go to the end of the CSS and here I'll just make a comment. I'll just type toast notification. And here I'll just paste the CSS. All right now let's go ahead and save this. All right now let's upload the image into a page and let's get the link and add it to our theme code. So let's go to pages and let's create a new page and let's click on insert image and go to upload from computer and let's click on choose files and here are the two images so let's select both of these and click on open and let's select both of these images from here and let's click on select and here we will select original size and click on ok. Now here we have the two images now let's add the link of these images to our theme code. So I'll just open the theme code in a new tab. So I'll just right click over here and click on open link in new tab. And now let's click on theme and let's go over here to this arrow and click on edit HTML. And now let's scroll down and go to the HTML that we just added. And here we need to replace the links of these images. So first of all, here we can see we have the cover image. So let's go back and just right click over here and click on copy image address. And let's go back and here I'll just paste the link. And we'll do the same for the close image. So let's go back and right click over here and click on copy image address and go back over here and paste it right here. All right, now this should work. So let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we can see that the toast notification is displayed over here, but it is below these posts. So if we scroll down, we can see this is the toast notification. So we have to bring it above all these posts. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's select the toast container. And here we will just add a Z index. And let's see whether it works. So let's type Z index. And we'll just set it to, let's say 200. So now we can see it is above all the other elements. So we need to add a Z index of 200 to the toast container. Now the next thing we need to fix is the color of this text. So if you go back to the design, here we can see we have this white color for the text. So let's go back and let's right click over here and click on inspect. 
and let's select the S3 and here we can see in the theme it already has this color set for the S3. So we have to change the color of the S3 inside the toast container. So we have to add a color of white over here. So let's go back and let's make those changes. So let's go back to our template code and let's go to the CSS. And the first thing we need to do is add a Z index. So let's type Z index and we'll just set it to 200. And let's go to the S3 and we'll change the color of the text to white. And now it should work. By the way, you can go ahead and make changes in the HTML and the JavaScript. So if you go back to the HTML, here we can see this is the text. So you can go ahead and add any text you want over here. And you can also add the link of any page you want over here inside the href. And if you want to change the delay of the toast notification, you can change it over here. Here we can see we have 1000 written over here. It means one second. So you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want. And I have already created a video on designing this toast notification from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you have any doubts in this, you can go ahead and watch that video. I will leave the link in the description. All right, now let's click on save. And now let's go back and let's refresh this page. And here we can see we have this toast notification displayed over here at the bottom. And we can see after one second, this toast notification is displayed. And now if I click on the close button, we can see that it goes back and now if you refresh this page, the Torch notification is not being displayed anymore. So that's basically how you add a Torch notification to your blogger website. And I will leave the link of the source code and also the design video in the description of this video. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.